<laughs> okay, so let's take a look back at September so far. We have mostly spent it cooler than normal. Every box that you see there is below normal. And when you take the average, we're actually about a degree and a half below normal with our high temperatures. All that to say is September can look very different. Let me show you this. This was September just two years ago. In 2023, we had a streak of triple digit heat days as hot as 110 degrees. So what's the big difference? Why is this September not as hot as two years ago? Let's talk about something called ENSO, uh, El La Nina or El Nino. So two years ago, we were in a strong La Nina pattern. In fact, we had been in a strong La Nina pattern for three years. This year, what we're looking at are neutral conditions. So that line that you see there, neutral, and every dot that you see there is our months so far. So through August, September, you notice that it's really close to that neutral line. It's far away from an El Nino or La Nina and trends are looking like they're going to stay neutral at least for the next couple of months. North Texas weather will be less influenced by a large scale change associated with La Nina or El Nino. That's why our temperatures have been kind of nice the last several months. We'll see fewer dramatic swings in the weather pattern and temperatures will stay at or above normal and rainfall near or below normal. And that is going to hold true at least for the next month. So all that to say is it's a big global weather pattern that is changed. And that's why this September is different from two years ago. And I'm grateful for it. Back to you. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Has not been too crazy. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, Marielle.